Dear Governor Abbott, this is Quentin Jones, uh, Texas death row inmate that's been incarcerated for 20 years. I know you don't know me. I'm writing this letter to ask you if you can find it in your heart to grant me clemency so I don't be executed on May the 19th. I got two weeks to live starting today. How is the person you are now different from the person you were when you got on death row 21 years ago? More thoughtful. Love myself more. It took me years to forgive myself. Another thing that helped me out was my great aunt, Amy Maddie. It was her sister. So by her loving me enough to forgive me, it gave me the strength to, to try to do better and want to do better. Growing up in the hood, growing up as a black male, you are taught to be tough and hard, macho, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I had a messed up childhood. Yeah, I had drug addiction, alcohol addiction. Yeah, I hated myself. Yeah, I tried to kill myself. But at the end of the day, how can you say, well, I killed somebody 20 something years ago? Well, you that same person, so you need to die. I'm, I'm nothing like the person. Like they say in the Bible, as you grow, you put away childish things and you become a man. And I became a man on death row. So now you're killing the man and not a child. Are you ready to die? Have you accepted it? No, well, no, I'm not ready to die. You know, that's. Being, I'm being selfish, I'm not ready to die. It's a great possibility that it could happen. So in order to not to break down mentally, I had to accept it years ago. At the end of the day, I don't want to be the source of anybody else's pain and hurt and sadness, so I deal with it by myself. Plus, being in death row for 20 years, you around death a lot. And I've seen over 300 some executions, so I'm not comfortable with death, but I've been living around death. I understand too that if I do get clemency, I know that instead of dying on the 19th, I may die years later, but it won't be in the free world, it'll be in prison. And I can accept that because there's other avenues in prison that I can take to better myself and to better others along the way, you know what I'm saying? And as the old saying go, if you don't learn from history, then you tend to repeat it. I've learned from history. I've had 22 years of torment to learn that the mistakes I made, it's mistakes. There's not something definite, solid about who I am. It's just a part of a bigger me. So if you can find any in your heart, Governor, to grant me clemency, then I can continue to live life to better myself, to better those around me. You know, I wouldn't be one of the ones that, you know, in 10, 20 years, you say, I regret letting him live. All I'm asking you to do, if you can find in your heart, Mr. Abbott, is to give me a second chance at life.